Hey! There's the last star piece! Huh? Already finished your tour of the factory, huh? Alright then, how about a little demonstration? Yo, Smithy! Stop making those things and hand over the star piece now! Huh? Good for ha ha ha! So you're Mario? Looks like we're gonna have a little dispute over the star. Just hand it over and get out of my castle! My, my. We're a little touchy today, aren't we? You know, I'm actually growing rather fond of this place. Please, don't make us go through any more. Just give us the star. Now! Rough! Better yet, why don't you give me your stars? Why, then I could easily conquer this world! Then we could get rid of all wishes and create a world filled with weapons! Alright guys, we're gonna get this asshole now, come on. Over here now! I'll crush you all! And we enter battle in, in with... Smithy. The ultimate bringer of doom and destruction. So, here we are guys, the final boss, can you believe it? Like, eight months after we started. Here we are at the final boss. Alright, so Smithy here. He has 2,000 HP, which isn't all that bad, but trust me, this battle is just... This is just the beginning. There's also the smelter over here. You don't really have to worry about that. Uh, with that, he can spawn some enemies. I think they're called Shipers or something. Uh, I wouldn't worry about that too much. They're not a big threat. So, I guess we'll just lead off with Mario's trademark move, the Super Jump. Here we go. Man, wouldn't it be epic to get my 100 Super Jumps in the final battle against Smithy? That would be awesome. No, it's not going to happen, though. 200 damage. That was even without the Geno boost. Which we're gonna get off right now. Yeah, so don't hesitate with this guy. Trust me, go all out against them. He is. He can be tough to deal with at times. Sledge. Ow! <laughs> that looks painful. Jeez, that's kind of like the things in uh, Super Mario World, Iggy's Castle or something. Those things that come down from the ceiling. That's, those things are scary, man. Why did you use the lazy shell? Should have been super jumping. Geno, go ahead and Geno boost yourself. Yeah. I have a really strange memory about this guy, like, it was when I was four or something, and I was playing the, oh my, oh my god, <laughs> holy crap, that, that's a scary looking attack, but I played this game for the first time when I was like four or something, that was in 1998, uh, oh yeah, here goes the smelter making an enemy, yeah, so that was only like two years after this game came out, which is a, quite a long time in gaming years, but, uh, <laughs> in gaming years. But yeah, from back then I have this really strange memory about this guy. He like scared the crap out of me when I was a kid and damn it. Yeah, sword ran. Oh god, I forgot that I actually had that. So you might want to deal with the shipers quickly, because this is Well, I guess they don't have too much power to use it. But it can get become quite a powerful attack later on. Yeah, so I don't know, I have this like strange memory where I'm just sitting in my pajamas. I'm sitting on like the floor in front of the TV. Oh, I thought Gino was dead there for sure. And, like, I'm eating, like, what the hell was I eating? I was eating, like, mac and cheese or something. And I'm just, like, fighting this guy. And I just could not, for the life of me, beat him. Because I was such an idiot as a kid. And I don't know why, but, like, I spent, like, days and days and days just battling this guy, trying to beat him. And I just I just couldn't do it, man. I, I really couldn't. And now, like, having battled him with my experience nowadays, he's not that tough at all if you just train properly. Prepare yourself, eat your Wheaties and all that. And you can pretty much just normal attack them to Kingdom Come. Uh oh, here comes another Shiper. You know, maybe I could use like Geno Flash or something and take out those guys. But yeah. I've had like, I've legitimately had nightmares about this guy. He's just so scary. He's also pretty scary looking. He's like an evil Santa Claus almost. Yeah, so he only has 2,000 HP, so he should be done here pretty soon, actually. We've been doing about 200 damage with every hit, so just 10 hits should take him down. Oh, Geno. Um, yeah, let's use Geno Flash just to take out the Shipers right quick. We'll hopefully take them out. They probably have more HP than this can deal with. Alright, come on! Man. 
I haven't even been paying attention to see if my capture card is glitching with that attack, because I know some of them actually do glitch with that. Sledge. Where it doesn't, like, show the full animation of that attack. It's really weird. Hopefully mine's better than that, though. Man. <laughs> I want the princess to get the final blow on him. That would be awesome. No! Calm down, Smithy. <laughs> His name is Arrow. Your head looks like a geyser! Don't get so worked up. Think of your blood pressure. Dude, he doesn't have blood. Come on. He's a m machine or a toy or something. We just built this yesterday, and the foundation's very weak. So stop shaking the floor! Damn it! How utterly annoying! What the? How in the heck? Man, that smelter even looks terrified of what's going on. This is crazy. Oh no! <laughs> oh, we're dead. We're so dead. I love how everyone's just like standing there like nothing's even happening. Holy crap. This is scary. No! Whoa! I'm burning, seething. Never have I been so wronged. It is time. I will show you my real form. I will show you my true power. I will teach you respect. And I shall have my revenge. No! Oh, crap. Come on, you puny ants! And behold, Smithy's true form. Oh, he turns his head into a tank. Looks kind of funny when he does that. But yes, this is the real Smithy. That thing up there before, that was just a joke trying to toy with you. So this guy, he has actually two targets here. There's Smithy and, well, Smithy. <laughs> his body, you don't need to worry about because if you kill it, it'll... I think it only has 1,000 HP anyways, and if you kill it, it'll just come back later. So don't even bother with that, and it doesn't do too much anyways. His head is the main thing you want to deal with. It has... Eight thousand HP, and it has four different forms that it can take. Well, technically five, because the one that you saw like originally, that counts as a form too. But it doesn't really, because he never uses that. And each of the four forms will specialize in something. There's like attack, magic, defense, and status ailments. I think those are the four things that they specialize in. So this guy is no joke. Like. Once you get here, this is pr basically the part that I kept getting stuck on as a kid, because this guy just would not go down with his massive HP. Right, I'm going to start off with another Geno boost. Oh, I might have to recover some FP per here pretty soon. Yeah. Plus, like, look at the atmosphere of this place. This is, like, literally hellish. It's a hellish place. Uh, Peach, go ahead and use a Royal Serp, I think. Like, just, like, all these smithy heads in the background, and, yeah, they're, like, actually smithy heads, like, he was trying to make more of himself or something. Oh, you missed. Yeah, that Magnum, it can actually insta-kill any one of your party members, so be sure to watch out for that. Oh, and as you can imagine, the tank is the one that specializes in attack power. Not like you need me to tell you that. Yeah, and this guy has no real weaknesses. Well, I think one of his heads has a weakness, actually. I'm not sure which one, though. So I just don't really care at this point. Alright, Gino, Gino boost yourself now. And now we're all powered up. Full power, go! Oh dear. Yeah, that's his melee attack. Oh my god, Gino has 2 HP. How in the world did that happen? Okay, Peach. Give us a group hug. Come on, babe. There we go. Oh, I didn't pull off the action command there. Did I just call Peach babe? I did. <laughs> that's so shameful. But there's something weird about the background, too. It's like those gears in the background. Like, they're all red, but the middle of them is blue. And it completely contrasts with the area. And it's like, I don't even really like the contrast too much. It's kind of just out of place entirely. And Gino, just go ahead and use your star gun. Because that's really the best you could do probably right now. Well, you could use Gino Flash, I suppose. Oh, you missed. And we'll just 
Uh, well, actually, we, Mario isn't re really in recovery, neither is Peach, so let's just use therapy on Gino. Conserve our FP, you know? Oh, did I get the action command there? I did. Awesome. Yeah. And Mario's super jump is definitely overpowered if you can actually pull it off here, because you, you can see I've been doing up, like, to 500 damage almost on this guy. Okay, that was kind of crappy, but still, I did pretty massive amount of HP. Uh, I hope he actually shows off all four forms of his head, because that would be kind of awesome. Kind of epic. Oh, here he goes, changing his head into... Okay, this is the magic head, and this thing is just creepy as hell. Like, just look at it. His, head, oh, God, his nose is all crooked, and his face is down where it's, like, where it's, like, pelvis should be. And it's got this hat thing, and... Oh my god, it's just so scary. I don't know why, but this thing, it, like, even today, it still scares me. Yeah. So this is the magic form head. It has quite a lot of deadly attacks. I don't think anything that can actually instant kill you, though. So, that's pretty easy. Oh yeah, it's got some pretty good magic defense there, too, as you can see. Spear rain, oh my god. So that's kind of like sword rain. Uh, yeah, so I think pretty much normal attacks will be your best bet against this thing, because, as you can see, magic doesn't do too much. Whoa, my god! That thing has... <laughs> Gino did 504 damage with a normal attack. How much will Peach do? Let's see. 189 with Peach, and how about Mario? Oh, my god. 396. That's not like to Gino. Well, I think it's because Gino is Gino boosted. Uh-oh. This might kill some one of us. Uh, no, not quite. But it could kill Mario next turn if he... Use it. Okay. Well, Gino boost on Mario because I think that wore off right now. Yeah, you can go ahead and like use all your items and stuff here too. Always oh, changing his head. Oh, he just changed it right back into the magic head. He's like, yeah, that was working out. Let's do that. Uh, plug, I guess. Yeah. What was I saying? I was saying something there. Who cares? Probably wasn't important. Oh dear. Dark Star. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I was saying, like, you can use your items if you want here, like rock candies, red essence, and stuff. Ow! That was painful against Peach, no less. The one with the freaking lazy shell. Yeah, so, just, if you really want to, go ahead and use, like, all your items, like your red essences, rock candies, and all that. But, I'm just not gonna use any of that. Why'd I do that? Oh well. I'm locked into it now, so no sense in complaining. No sense in lamenting the past, as it were. Oh, I still did pretty significant with that. Arrow rain? Oh, God. <laughs> Who uses blue arrows? Seriously? Ah, uh, Gino. Gino boosting yourself again, because that probably wore off by now, too. And there is actually a battle later on in the game, believe it or not. It's going to be in a bonus episode that I want to save my items for, so that's partially why I'm not using it. Okay, this one, this is the treasure box head. This one specializes in dealing out status ailments. For the most part, we should be fine because uh, both Toadstool and Gino are immune to basically all status ailments. Mario, on the other hand, is... He could be in a spot of trouble here. But we'll just keep on pounding on him. Like, we're doing massive amounts of damage here. He should go down pretty soon, actually, I think. Oh, here we go. Oh my god! I forgot how crazy that looked. Okay, so he poisoned Mario there. Um, can I use therapy to cure that? I don't even remember. Because poison is not something I want to have right now. Oh, it can, I can cure it with poison. Awesome. I can cure poison with poison. I can cure it with therapy is what I meant to say. Um, you know, for the hell of it, let's just use Geno Flash. Hit the body, too. And the body is completely unscathed still at this point. Other than from the massive fall that it took down to, like... I don't know, where are we anyways? Are we, like, in the middle of a furnace? Oh, dear. And... Back into the tank head, damn it. I wanted to show off his other head, the safe head. Oh, you missed. Yeah, you really want that magnum attack to miss, because otherwise it could instantly kill you. But I, at the same time, I think both Gino and uh, Toadstool are immune to instant death, so it's really Mario that we have to worry about. And it missed on Mario, no less. Aw, oh, damn it. I had to swallow, and that made me lose my concentration. That sucks. Eh, zero. Uh, making the final boss do zero damage. Do you believe that? That's crazy. 
And we're hitting with a frying pan, too. Hitting a tank with a frying pan. That's the way to go. Aw, oh, damn it. Well, Mario, just go ahead and use your blaze shell, because I don't want to be wasting your turn. I'm restoring FP. You can waste Toadstool's turn with that. Yowza. Did I just say yowza? Oh, my God. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure this is going to be the final episode. It might be a little bit longer, too, because we have the credits to deal with and everything. And I don't really want to make the, that the, its own video, so... This could be a 30-minute video. I'm not even sure. I'm not even sure what we're up to right now, to be honest with you. Yeah. Well, you can see, this guy is just a complete tank. <laughs> oh, that pun was slightly intended, I guess. Because, like, we've been dealing a couple hundred HP of damage with every single hit. And he is still just, like, fighting like crazy. Oh! Gah! My body and head are burning! It's not possible! I don't believe it! I'm finished! Done for! Gah! No!